This is Uprising. I'm Sonali Kohatkar. You can now watch Uprising on Free Speech TV, which airs on Dish Network Channel 9415, Direct TV Channel 348, and on hundreds of part-time cable affiliates and on Roku. Former CIA head and decorated war general David Petraeus has just accepted a plea deal on federal charges of sharing classified information. Petraeus allegedly turned over several so-called black books to his biographer and girlfriend, Paula Broadwell, which contained secret information about the Afghanistan war, including code names, covert operatives, and more. The allegations first came to light in 2012 when Petraeus resigned from his position as CIA director. The case has dragged on since then. In order to avoid exposing the details of his relationship with Broadwell in a public trial, Petraeus has pled guilty. Together, he and the Justice Department have asked for two years probation and a $40,000 fine. The case stands in stark contrast to that of former CIA staffer Jeffrey Sterling, who in January was found guilty on nine charges under the Espionage Act for apparently sharing with a journalist classified information about an ill-conceived CIA plan to thwart Iran's nuclear program. Sterling's sentencing hearing will be in April, and it's likely he faces a very long prison term. Meanwhile, NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden has indicated through a lawyer that he would like to return to the United States from his exile in Russia if he can be guaranteed a fair trial. Snowden also faces espionage charges. Laura Poitras' film about him, Citizen Four, recently won the Oscar for Best Documentary. And filmmaker Oliver Stone is now working on a film entitled Snowden with actor Joseph Gordon-Levitt playing the role of the famous whistleblower. Joining me now is Norman Solomon, executive director of the Institute for Public Accuracy, author of War Made Easy, How Presidents and Pundits Keep Spinning Us to Death. He's co-founder of RootsAction.org and an editorial board member of ExposeFacts.org. Welcome to Uprising, Norman. Hi, Sonali. Now, is it fair to compare Petraeus' treatment in the legal system with Jeffrey Sterling, or are these apples and oranges? Well, it's very fair to compare, and the treatment of both of these men really underscores the uh, way in which the law uh, functions so differently depending on one's station in life and whether one has powerful friends. Here we have one of the most celebrated, at least by the mass media generals of the last couple of generations, uh, David Petraeus, uh, who flagrantly violated uh, the rules uh, that he himself has proclaimed are sacrosanct about not disclosing to anyone any classified information. As a matter of fact, uh, David Petraeus uh, crowed uh, about uh, the uh, need to punish another CIA whistleblower, uh, John Karyaku, uh, and told uh, people publicly that it was essential to punish people who disclose classified information. And yet, as you uh, just referred to, uh, David Petraeus got, um, I don't even know if it was a slap on the wrist, maybe a little touch on the wrist. It's just a remarkably light plea deal agreement which was inherently political. This is the Obama Justice Department cutting a deal and saying essentially, well, we could prosecute and uh, quite likely have you sent to prison for years, but instead we're gonna give you uh, a small fine given your well, and you'll go on your merry way uh, into corporate America to make yet more millions of dollars. Meanwhile, uh, Jeffrey Sterling, a mid-level uh, CIA uh, case officer uh, formerly in that role, uh, is now preparing for a, an April 24th sentencing uh, during which uh, the Justice Department is expected to seek 20, 30 years in prison for disclosure of classified information. Hmm. 